The North and Baltic Sea region stretches across 1,000 kilometers in the north of Germany, the Netherlands and Denmark. The area is characterized by pastures. On the North Sea side, farmers find perfect conditions for cultivating crops and producing milk. This farmer says that the region is ideal, especially for dairy farming. In other regions, droughts can destroy the fodder and then you have to buy it. However, living near the coast is not without risk. The area is regularly affected by storm surges like in 1962, when vast areas were flooded. In the future, climate change will increase such risks. We will have sea level rise here, and uh, because of the already now low-lying areas, these landscapes are at risk, not only because of storm surges, but also because uh, of getting drowned by rainwater, which will not be able to discharge naturally into the sea in the future. How to cope with these challenges? Together with an expert team, Professor Clyer examines the current conditions and develops strategies for an optimal land use. So far, the region has faced very few changes. Nonetheless, the first steps have to be taken now. When you invest in a dike, for instance, you cannot just try different uh, dikes. You have to to have one informed solution for this dike. We have 700 kilometers of dike in Lower Saxony, and each year we can only improve seven kilometers, so it makes 100 years for the whole dike line to become improved. The scientists investigate different scenarios. Instead of heightening the primary sea wall, they are thinking about constructing a second dike line with the formation of freshwater polders so inland flooding could be restricted to the polder areas. In addition, subsurface saltwater intrusion might be prevented. Land use between the dikes will be characterized by farming, growing weeds for renewable energy generation, or creating grasslands. The second scenario examines a natural vegetation with reeds without harvesting. This option would yield active peat formation and allow the sequestration of carbon. The third scenario is based on discussions with residents and farmers. It takes their needs and wishes into account. In this way, the scientists want to strengthen common agreement for future measures in order to find an optimal balance between the so-called ecosystem services. If a landscape provides more biodiversity, it cannot at the same time provide more agricultural productivity. These are mutually exclusive. And therefore, we aim for a multifunctional landscape that in certain areas, in these polder areas, provide biodiversity, whereas other parts of the landscapes will still be used for providing um, agriculture. In future, the North and Baltic Sea region will live more with the water rather than protecting itself from it. The project Comtes will offer advice on how this can be achieved.